You know, what I'm excited about is every, you know, we always knew we were running for governor. A lot of them, you know, never got excited. We got two candidates from PSC that is generating excitement all over this state. Y'all first, join me welcome Don Randolph. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with you. I am Don Randolph. And let me tell you three things real quick. If you're tweeting or you're Facebooking, I'm Win with Randolph. Win with Randolph is my Twitter handle. And then you can go to Don Randolph for Georgia Public Service Commission, and that's my Facebook page. And Randolph for Georgia is my website. So let's get all that housekeeping out of the way. I am so excited to be with you today because we have to put the public back on the Public Service Commission. We cannot go any longer with five members who are bought and paid for by the utilities they regulate. All right, so we know that the Public Service Commission is the oldest agency in Georgia, founded in 1879, as the Railroad Commission. And then it became the Public Service Commission in 1922 when they added utilities. So we've got a long history, but we are missing the public. We are missing the consumer voice. We are missing choice. We are missing things that we need back on the Public Service Commission. And in this seats, these two seats, we can make the biggest difference in the world. So help me by telling people about my story. I'm an Army brat. I was born at Bethesda Naval Hospital, and my family, we moved around the country. My dad was career military, retired from Fort Gill. My mother was also in the military at the same time. She's a reservist. And I am second generation. All of my grandparents emigrated from various parts of Europe and Greece. And then I am first generation college. So when I ran for the Public Service Commission, and this is my second run in 2006, I was 40 and got 40% of the vote. And now I'm 52. And I need 52% of the votes. Okay? We are going to say this morning I was in Fayetteville to a packed room. I'll be in Augusta on Tuesday. And that's what we need. We need to get the public excited about this position. We need to help them understand that the Public Service Commission regulates the utilities that create the energy that power our lives. And not only that, it's also, for the Disability Caucus here, it has three programs that impact people with disabilities and our seniors. It's got the TTY program, the Audible Reading program, and the Hearing Aid program by Lions Lighthouse. Those three things make a difference in someone being able to get a job, which means that we are part of the Labor Department issues. We've got folks around the state, small businesses, trying to get up and running, who are stymied by the high cost of what? Plant Bobo. Yep. Anybody heard about that? Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do is make sure that my five tenants for District 5 are affordable and fair rates, reliable and safe services, and sustainable renewable energy so that we can go into the future all over the state with jobs that are green jobs. And we can do that through the Public Service Commission. I'm excited to run for this race because it dawned on me that we can make a difference. Has it dawned on you? Okay. That's what we need to spread the word about. This is a position that can be won. Let me give you some stats. So this is my second run, and I'm, I'm a bit of a policy wonk and a bit of a science geek. I won this race by 79% of the vote, so let me humbly thank you for that. 79% of the vote. I got only a little less votes than Stacey Abrams. I got 366,272. So thank you for 72, thank you for 71, thank you for 70. I appreciate every one of those votes. And my opponent, who was appointed by the governor in February after Stan Wise stepped down after serving for 24 years because he couldn't take the heat from Vogel, well, she did not even get 260,000 votes. So I'm only 100,000 votes ahead of her. Okay, so let's think of those stats. I know you all out there are looking at your numbers. You're supporting all your local candidates. 
And what we need to do is tell people, vote all the way down the ticket. We've got Stacy up there. She's going to do amazing things. We've got Sarah. We've got, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did our ad commissioner go? Oh, there. We got Fred. We got, we got all these amazing folks, and we got to keep going all the way down the ballot. And I'm number 10 of your statewide candidates. So here's some, some numbers. I'm the 10th slot, District 5, you got two PSC candidates. We can make this happen because we are not divisible. We are united, we are Democrats, and we are the consumer advocates. And we will take back Districts 5 and District 3 to put the public back on the Public Service Commission. Thank you all so much. I'm around the chat.